Again, human beings from the planet Earth, we have in front of us a great opportunity to once again assault the media. So thanks to WND, I'm going to take advantage of that. CNN, MSNBC, hype false Al-Qaeda claims on assault rifles. Uh, I'll link you to this down below. In a clear push for gun control, CNN and MSNBC yesterday hype false claims by an Al-Qaeda spokesman that America is awash with easily obtainable fully automatic assault rifles. The networks played an Al-Qaeda propaganda video from June 2011 that until now has received little news uh, attention. And now, Al-Qaeda propaganda, who da we don't know who made the video. We don't know who was paid by whom to make the video. Okay, so right there. Cut the bullshit. Anyway, in the video, American Al-Qaeda spokesman and operative Adam Godin point out American Al-Qaeda okay so uh, just you know make note of that make note of that American Al-Qaeda okay um, see through it look look a little deeper than than the print please anyway before I get all in a rant and using foul language and good lord an operative Adam Gatta uh, Gadden urged jihadists to obtain automatic rifles at US gun shows wrongly claiming those weapons are sold without background checks. Now, another side note. Let me tell you something. If I know uh, the patriotic American and most people at a gun show, okay, uh, I would have better luck buying an automatic white weapon with no ID or anything, maybe, you know, black market style, than somebody that is, uh, looks like they could be uh, a jihadist. I mean, them good old boys... Okay, they take care of their own, but they're not, especially after all the hype with the media, uh, chances are they're going to just say, I can't sell you that. <laughs> okay, all right, so cut the bullshit. Let's, let's just tell it like it is. And I'm not racist or prejudiced. I don't have those, uh, you know, problems. Um, but I've been around some of those shows. And, and quite honestly, I'm not saying they're not good people, but they're, they're good old boys. And they don't, uh, they, they believe the mainstream media. Uh, that anyone that has that olive complexion uh, and, you know, the, the s accent uh, is a terrorist. And so they, they have that mindset, and they're probably, even if you have the right to buy it, aren't going to sell it to you. That's my opinion. I should get back to the post, because you're not here for my opinion. You're here for the facts. Anyway, uh, the networks, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh. Stated Garden in the video, America's absolutely awash, obtain all firearms. Okay, here we are. Video was aired yesterday by CNN as part of a two-day report on background checks. CNN's Brooke Baldwin introduces the video by stating, Al-Qaeda already thinks American gun control system is weak. An Al-Qaeda spokesman said it is so easy to get guns in America that wannabe terrorists should be taking advantage of it. The segment went on to claim that gun legislation being proposed is not strong enough to stop Al-Qaeda from obtaining firearms. The video was used yesterday by MSNBC's Joe Scarborough to push for gun control. After the video was aired, co-host Mike Brzezinski stated, yeah, well, we'll show you something and then we'll let you talk. You know your background check system is weak when even Al-Qaeda makes a video pointing out how easily obtainable guns are in the U.S. Neither CNN or N MSNBC pointed out Al-Qaeda claim but about obtaining fully automatic assault rifles uh, is false. Now, another side note, okay. If we want to believe that Al-Qaeda is intelligent enough, without us knowing they're coming, to hijack planes with little pocket knives that I would slap out of your hand and proceed to kick your ass afterwards, okay, if we, they're, they're that smart, do you really think they're going to point out to the general public, the loopholes in America to obtaining guns so that the loopholes could be covered? Wouldn't they put that out, okay, silently among their people? Not out on the Internet, where the, somebody might say, oh, shit, 
we're going to have to do something about this. Come on, people. Come on. All right, anyway. That's my opinion. I can't approve any of it. It's just how I think. Uh, neither CNN or MSNBC pointed out that the Al-Qaeda claim about obtaining fully automatic rifles is false. When the Al-Qaeda video first released, National Preview Deputy Editor Kevin D. Williamson debunked the claim. So I'm going to link you to this, and you can go look at his stuff. Uh, he noted that if a civilian is not federally licensed firearm dealer, owning a fully automatic weapon manufactured after 1986 is categorically illegal. Uh, continued Williamson, fully automatic weapons that were legally owned and registered with the federal government before 1986 may be transferred to a qualified buyer with the approval of federal and local law enforcement authorities, a rigorous background check, and of course a sign-off from the U.S. Treasury Department. Yeah, they get their hands in everything you do. There's a couple hundred bucks in fees and taxes involved. Okay, of course there is. Um, I think that's why uh, we had the first war in this country, because of fees and taxes. But anyway, oh, good Lord. Williams warned that selling a fully automatic weapon to an unlicensed party at a gun show or anywhere else is a very excellent way to land yourself in prison for a good long while. So I'll link you to this. You can catch all those videos if you want. But, uh, you know, and I'm thankful that Wynn put this out, but, I mean, really, they still don't, you know, pull all this bullshit to light, the spin, the, 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 you know, there's no, come on. Al-Qaeda is going to tell you what your insecurity is? How come they didn't let us know about the towers? Huh? Huh? How come? They're going to let us know about the loopholes and guns, but not, oh, come on. Stop the bullshit, will you please? Anyway, links will be below. As always, remix, use it, chop it, do whatever you can do. Just get the information out there. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.